So come on in, take a sip. Let's wind down on the Guardian Quick Crossword number 16992. And before we get rolling here, I just want to do a quick shout out to uh, Emirates, uh, Team New Zealand for securing the America's Cup. What a victory. It's a dominant performance. Well done all the way around, not only to uh, Ineos uh, Britannica, but but to New Zealand for actually taking the win. It was a it was a great final matchup, and I'm proud of, of both performances to the nth degree. So very well done. Now, <clears throat> let's hop into our quick crossword number 16992 and see how badly I do today. Okay. Now, looks like we have to very carefully place our mouse in here very nice gentle don't want to upset the grid leap from plane at this point i have no idea let's see what we've got anything else here of pre-digital timers maybe analog <clears throat> that's where we would stop spelling in, in, in yankee english right but we'll go ahead and finish it out and Proper uh, British fashion, fashion vehicle, black in London, yellow in New York. Okay, this is kind of a gimme. I guess we're talking about a taxi here. And let's see, hugely consequential. Damned could be cursed. I must say I'm getting a little bit better about not messing up my typing. Cheerio. Now, see this I in the middle? I've got five letters. I'm going to go with adieu. And I just congratulated myself for getting this right, and I just promptly screwed it up. So, way to go. Hugely consequential. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yet. Just not yet. Impulsive type. Uh, need a little bit more. Dance, change in plot. I guess that could be, come on, baby, let's do the twist. Formal extended jacket, eight letters, and I suppose that could be a tailcoat. Um, humorous, third letter being a C, assuming that's correct, I'm gonna move into the territory of jocularity. So jocular. And Adam, well, it's an anagram of Adam. It really, it really truly comes to mind is a moat. So, okay. And I'm assuming this now is a parachute jump. J-U-M-P, which then tells me that the impulsive type could be a hothead. And I'm glad to see that we use those synonymously. Um, hugely consequential. I guess this is turning out to be a monumental thing. Okay. Man, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm excited so far. This is good. Character raised by apes. A virile man. I guess we're talking about Tarzan. Lord Greystoke. Was it his grace? Was he a duke? I cannot remember. Feign sickness. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Fishing ship, I guess, could be a trawler. And um, hmm, social runt. This is an anagram of social runt. Hmm. Wurst, for example, I guess would be sausage. Being a German speaker in Germany, sausage comes to mind. <laughs> Fragments of exploding shells, and I'm assuming this is shrapnel. Uh, this 
is like it could be ultra. Is this a T hint? Could be a tinge. Okay, I'm gonna put ultra in, and then when I have a moment, I need to think about what I've got going over here to see what I have left. So if the U and the T and the L, the R are gone. Um, and I still have an S O C I N, which I guess could be Sonic, Ultrasonic. I, I guess I don't know. Baby Tawny Bird. I'm assuming is an outlet. Winter Olympics Olympic sport would be the luge. Oh, I'm getting excited. I might actually get this right today. Vein sickness. Uh, that was something, a term we used in the army all the time was malingerers. And so malinger, uh, sling your hook. Sling your hook. What the heck? Um... Okay, let's hope I get something here that's going to help. Post held by Cooper, May, Straw, and Morris. And, and I do believe that is the uh, British Home Secretary. And yes, I keep up with our governments. Sling your hook. Sling your hook. Oh, ho. Uh, <laughs> ah, sling your hook. What could that possibly mean? Sling your hook. Maybe it's like you just discovered something. Like, oh, ho. Oh, ho. I got you. Um... I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Gosh, I'm sure it's wrong. I don't even want to hear it. Let's see. What do we got? Check all. Confirm. Nope, it's not that. Everything else is good, though. Hey, kudos for me. Getting better. Um, okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe shoe? Well, it makes no sense. But it wouldn't, would it? Um, <laughs> confirm. Shoe? That literally means shoe. That was like my last resort. I had nothing else to go off of. I mean, nothing but a blank H, blank O. Oh, wow. Okay, shoe, sling your hook. And then I still got to remember a caca snook and a diddler. I remember that a diddler, or a tiddler, sorry, tiddler, a little one, a little tall, okay? No, um, beautiful grid today. Um, this was great. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. I think it kind of helps that I keep up with a bit of, uh, of current events and so on, but this was, uh, this was super. So, again, I uh, just got to uh, hand it to Clil Benton uh, HWOW for introducing me to the concept. This has become an awful lot of fun. And starting today, it's been a little less edgy a moment for me. Like I look forward to it now a bit versus being so nervous about it. But this is great. And so let's go ahead and tap this on out of here. And with that, we'll bring down our see you later slide. And so until we see you tomorrow for the New York Times Mini, the New York Times Crossword, and the quick crossword number 16993, I presume. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Bis dann, bis morgen. Uh, bis später. Tschüss. Servus. Grüß Gott. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Chin chin. And we'll see you tomorrow. And until then, be good to yourselves. Be especially nice to your neighbors. And be really nice to the fellow behind you in the queue. Take care. We'll see you then. Be well. <laughs>